So if you're like me and you just did an unattended installation of Ubuntu in VirtualBox, you might have some permission issues. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna just switch into full screen mode and I'll open up terminal. And if you just try to run a simple command like uh, app get update, you might get an error message when you type in your password like this. So it says that the user, or in my case, Geekware, is not a suitor for this file. This incident will be reported. It's not getting reported to anybody. It's just going into logs. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to work around this issue. And we'll take a look at that right now. Okay, so the problem here is that the user is not part of the pseudo group. And what we have to do is add it to that group. So I'm just going to restart this virtual machine. I'm going to actually shut it down completely. Go over here to close and we'll power off the virtual machine. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we hold the shift key on our keyboard when we start this up. So we're going to click on start and hold your shift key down. Okay, and we're going to get a menu here. The option that we want to select is advanced options for Ubuntu. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to select the second option in the list, which is recovery mode right over here and then hit enter. And at this window, we want to select the drop to root shell prompt. So we're going to select that option and then hit enter. So when you get prompted for a password, you're just going to type in the user password that you created when you set up the operating system. So currently right now we're in a read only state. And what we need to do is change that. So it's read, write for us to do that. We're going to be typing in mount space dash O space RW comma remount space forward slash and then hit enter. And now we can add our user to the pseudo group. So we'll type in user mod space dash a G capital G space pseudo space. And then the user. So in my case, my user is called Geekware. Uh, you type in the username of the user that you've created and then hit enter. And now that we're done here, we can type in exit and then hit enter. We're back at this recovery menu and now we can hit resume, which is the first option in the list. It's letting us know that we're going to be exiting recovery mode and continue to boot sequence. We can hit okay. And it's going to load back into Ubuntu and it'll just be a moment here. Okay. And here we are back at the login screen. We're going to type in our same password and then it'll log into the desktop. Here I am back at my desktop. Okay. I'm going to open back up terminal right now. I'm going to run the same command that I had an issue before hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password, put it in there and there we go. It's working. So we've just added our user to the pseudo group. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.